Hey guys, this is Danny Boy. This is part of my target practice series showcasing the various weapons in the game and focusing on their accuracy at various ranges, their grouping, their spread, and so on. So we will now be trying out the Phalanx pistol, personally my favorite pistol. So here we go. So Phalanx pistol fired from the hip at short range. This is a semi-automatic pistol. Here we go. So, fairly accurate, fired from the hip at short range. You definitely can get headshots at this range, fired from the hip. Nice grouping. Alright, let us try short to mid, mid range, from the hip. Here we go. I can already tell that we're starting to suffer, yes. Much poor grouping when fired at short to mid range. Only two headshots. Center mass isn't a problem, but headshots are getting problematic. Let us now try mid to long range. Also, you notice this weapon has a much slower reload than some of the other pistols. It is truly a heavy pistol. So here we go. From the hip. Cycling between center mass and headshots. Problematic. I can see maybe three shots hit of 12. Hmm. I have a feeling this will not go well. From the hip at long range. Well, center mass was better. Certainly. It would seem the effective range of this weapon from the hip is really short to mid-range. It definitely suffers at long range. You certainly won't be getting headshots consistently at long range, so you can try for center mass. Alright, let us try now aiming down the sights. Decent grouping. At short range. Short to mid, from the hip. Or rather, down the sights. Still excellent. Certainly can do the job. I would say this weapon is even more accurate than the Predator. Worse, but we still have a nice grouping on the headshots, so it seems its effective range for down the sights is easily up to mid to long. Let us try long. Oops. Curse my mouse. Alright. Long range, down the sights. Excellent grouping for the head, and good grouping for center mass too, relatively speaking. Excellent. So it seems this weapon, down the sights, is effective at all ranges. From the hip, it is effective at short range and mid range. Not so much mid to long or long range, though you can still go for center mass at those ranges. This pistol also packs a considerable punch compared to the other ones. Seems to be a great overall firearm. Let us try with a scope. Alright, so with the scope at short range. Well, as you can already see, marked improvement with grouping at short range. Excellent, excellent grouping. Sniper level grouping at short range. With a scope. Let's try mid range. Short to mid. Cycling between center mass and headshots. Still excellent grouping, not quite as good, but certainly will do the job. And a improvement, an improvement over just down the sights, just iron sights. So now, mid to long range with a scope with the Phalanx pistol.
still good. Clearly still effective. And still an improvement over just iron sights, so not a huge improvement, but an improvement. Now long range. I am slowing down my rate of fire a bit just to try to keep shots on target. Alright, well still good grouping. Certainly worse, but still good grouping. So it seems this weapon down the sights and with a scope is effective at all ranges. From the hip, it is effective at short range and mid range, at least for headshots. You can still go for center mass from the hip at longer ranges. All in all, an excellent weapon. Very accurate, good power, nice rate of fire, large clip, a lot of ammo in reserve. Let's see how fast it can fire. So that's about as fast as you're going to get shots off. From the hip, at least. Should be the same with the scope. Yep. Alright guys, well, that should be that. Good weapon. The Phalanx Pistol. Thanks guys for watching, uh, and have a good one.